The red report in front of you has been vetted by several demolition specialists. Now, it concludes that the most logical delivery system for the terrorists to use would be an airborne attack. We have spin coverage on the network and throughout the interlink. Several experts have been lined up to testify against the Bailey structural integrity. You have information for us? No, you already have the information. All the names and dates are inside your head. What you want, what you really need, is a story. A story can be true or false. I leave such judgments to you, Inspector. Our story begins, as these stories often do, with a young up-and-coming politician. He's a deeply religious man and a member of the Conservative Party. He's completely single-minded and has no regard for the political process. The more power he attains, the more obvious his zealotry, and the more aggressive his supporters become. But if your ultimate goal is power, how best to use such a weapon? For it's at this point in our story that along comes a spider. He is a man seemingly without a conscience for whom the ends always justify the means, and it is he who suggests that their target should not be an enemy of the country, but rather the country itself. Three targets are chosen to maximize the effect of the attack. Eventually, his party launches a special project in the name of national security. At first, it's believed to be a search for biological weapons, and it's pursued without regard to its cost. However, the true goal of this project is power, complete and total hegemonic domination. Why didn't you come forward before? What were you waiting for? Well, for you, Inspector. I needed you. What we need right now is a clear message to the people of this country. This message must be read in every newspaper, heard on every radio, seen on every television. This message must resound throughout the entire interlink. I want this country to realize that we stand on the edge of oblivion. I want every man, woman and child to understand how close we are to chaos. I want everyone to remember why they need us. War and danger. Continuing danger. Hour of danger. Very, very dangerous world. A grave new threat. Horrific acts of atrocities. Murderous regimes dedicating to killing us. Because while the truncheon may be used in lieu of conversation, words will always retain their power. Words are for the means to meaning, and for those who will listen, the enunciation of truth. And the truth is, there is something terribly wrong with this country. Cruelty and injustice, intolerance and oppression. And where once you had the freedom to object, to think and speak as you saw fit, you now have sensors and systems of surveillance coercing your conformity and surveillance your submission. We need cameras. How did this happen? Who's to blame? Well, certainly there are those who are more responsible than others, and they will be held accountable. But again, truth be told, if you're looking for the guilty, you need only look into a mirror. I know why you did it. I know you were afraid. Who wouldn't be? War, terror, disease. There were a myriad of problems which conspired to corrupt your reason and rob you of your common sense. Fairness, justice, and freedom are more than words. They are perspectives. So if you've seen nothing, if the crimes of this government remain unknown to you, then I would suggest that you allow the 5th of November to pass unmarked. But if you see what I see, if you feel as I feel, and if you would seek as I seek, then I ask you to stand beside me one year from tonight, outside the gates of Parliament, and together we shall give them a 5th of November that shall never, ever be forgotten. Can I ask about what you said on the telly? Yes. Did you mean it? Every word. You really think the blowing up Parliament's going to make this country a better place? There's no certainty, only opportunity. Well, I think you can be pretty certain that if anyone does show up, Creedy will black bag every one of them. People should not be afraid of their governments. Governments should be afraid of their people. And you're going to make that happen by blowing up a building? The building is a symbol, as is the act of destroying it. Symbols are given power by people. Alone, a symbol is meaningless, but with enough people, 
blowing up a building can change the world. Morning, Inspector. You're out early. Is there something wrong? Don't look so good, sir. I see this chain of events. These coincidences. And I have to ask, what if that isn't what happened? If our own government was responsible for the deaths of almost 100,000 people. Would you really want to know? The choice to pull this lever is not mine to make. Why? Because this world, the world that I'm a part of and that I helped shape, will end tonight. And tomorrow a different world will begin that different people will shape. And this choice belongs to them. Where are you going? The time has come for me to meet my maker and to repay him in kind for all that he's done. Die! Die! Why won't you die? Why won't you die? Beneath this mask, there is more than flesh. Beneath this mask, there is an idea, Mr. Creedy. And ideas are bulletproof. Why are you doing this? Because he was right. About what? That this country needs more than a building right now. It needs hope. We must never lose it or give it away. We must never let them take it from us.